So all of you must have heard about Dolby Atmos which provides the best sound experience on Android devices. But have you ever wondered that there would be even more impressive sound experience with any other app? So let me tell you guys there is an app called Viper for Android which provides more powerful sound experience with tons of features you will definitely love. So hello friends this is VJ back again with a new interesting video and in this video of mine I will tell you how you can successfully install Viper for Android along with all the drivers on any android device so guys watch this video properly till and in order to know how to do it successfully and do hit the thumbs up button if you like my work and do share this video to your friends also also you can subscribe to my channel by pressing the red button below this video in order to get more interesting videos like this so guys without wasting any further time let's start this video So first of all you need a rooted phone with TWRP, CWM or Fizz Recovery install in it and you have to download some file I will provide the link for the file in the description box below so make sure you go to the description and download these files first and make sure you extract the files after downloading and second thing is you need to have BusyBox installed on your device and if you don't know what BusyBox is and how to install it then I have already made a video on that you can just go and watch it from here. So once BusyBox is installed you need to install an app called C Linux Mode Changer and download link is in the description as I have already mentioned. If during installation this error comes like installation block this app can permanently damage your device or cost you money then you simply have to click on this install anyway unsafe option and it will proceed further. So now you have to open this app and if super user asks for any kind of permission just grant it and you have to click on this permissive button. And once it's done you again have to go back and you have to install this Viper for Android FX version 2505A4X2A7X.apk file. And after installation you just have to open Viper for Android and you have to allow if it asks for any kind of permission. And if this window will pop up and it says in order to use Viper for Android you need to install and update the V4A driver the installation procedure will be done automatically install oblique update now. So after that you have to click on yes and make sure you have a proper net connection or Wi-Fi connection during this process. So once you'll press yes super user will ask for permission and just grant the permission and after few seconds it will show like this driver install please reboot your device then you have to click on ok and you have to reboot your device and driver status before rebooting will be like this. And after rebooting just open Viper for Android and you have to click on these three lines on the top left corner and you have to click on this driver status and you will see driver version 2.5.4.4 and Neon is enabled and every other thing is like this. And after that just play any song and you have to turn on this master power and then you have to look for the driver status and it will show yes for all the three things. So this means it is working perfectly fine on your Android device. And if it is still showing no for driver status you again have to go to this C Linux mode changer and you have to click on this permissive button. So sometimes what happens is when you reboot your device this C Linux mode changer automatically changes to enforcing mode. And in order to avoid that you just have to enable auto start for this C Linux mode changer. If you have inbuilt auto start app then it is well and good and if you do not have then you can simply go to play store and download any of these apps. And if in case Nogit user faces any kind of problem after or in between installing then install the second file that is iotestfix.apk file and continue the same process. So guys this was all about this video and I hope so you like this video and if so hit that like button and if you have any kind of queries just comment down in the comment section below I will try to reply you as soon as possible. Also you can get connected to me over Facebook and Instagram and I will provide the link for the same in the description box. So make sure you go to the description and check out every link. So guys this is VJ signing off and I hope to see you in my...